WBC 140 pound champ Regis Progray believes that if Devin Haney moves up in weight that uh, he will knock him out and hurt him really really bad so that is what Regis Progress is saying uh, this comes as Devin Haney has been said to have been interested in moving up to 140 pounds to fight Regis Progray now a lot of people are saying that this is looking like Devin Haney is running out of the division to avoid Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis. And recently, Javante Tank Davis and his team have really been, he, they, they officially came it out and they're trying to put the, 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 the pressure on Devin Haney down to uh, fight them now. So it seems. But I had also said the video I made a couple of days ago, I said, well, the, the Tank Davis calling out Dev, was, was that from uh, them getting knowledge that Dev wanted to go up to fight Regis and then all of a sudden they just came out and said okay yeah now we, we talk about we want, we want Dev and all this other stuff but I do find that a little weird that Dev started talking about fighting Regis and then now Tank and them start talking about fighting Devin now was that some kind of a a strategic move by Devin just to say he wanted to go up to 140 to fight Pro Gray just to see what Tank and his team do. Could that be? I don't know. Maybe. I was, I was thinking about that today. Maybe that's why Dev did that. Or Dev really uh, tired of 135 and he really wants to go up to 140. You know, so I'm a little confused with it because they said that, they're, that they can stay to fight Shakur and Tank or, or one or the other. But then now they tell them I'm going to fight Regis. So it's either what I just said or they really want to go up there and fight Regis. We we shall see. But Regis, he claims that if Dev moves up, the only person Dev could beat at 140 is Roley Romero. Uh, I don't believe that, but that's what that's what uh, Regis Progray is saying. He says him, Josh Taylor, uh, and Sabriel Matthias all knock him out if he comes up. And... Remember, I just made a vid and I was talking about how Mickey Bay, uh, in Blue Blood, you know, especially Mickey Bay, because Mickey Bay, is a, he's a boxer, so he's around Devin and more board and these other guys. But he says Devin Haney does have punching power. He says it's the weight that's killing Devin Haney's power, the weight draining. Uh, he said Devin was, you know, knocking out dudes and sparring and stuff like that all the time. So... I mean, those are sparring partners, man. A lot of them don't have the skill set of a Tank or of a Regis or Shakur. You know, we understand, but it's something to think about, though, because if he's getting all these knockouts and sparring, his you know he's not 135 pounds. He's not re, he's not drained or anything. He's at his weight, and he's knocking these guys out with headgear on and bigger gloves. Uh, that is an indicator that's telling me. If Dev did move up to 140, I mean, he would probably be hurting something up there. That's what I get from it. Other, a lot of other people don't believe that. They think Dev just don't, he just can't punch. They think that's what it is. He needs to just accept that. I don't believe that. I will have to see it first. I will have to see what Dev can do up at 140. He ain't get there yet. Once he has his first fight up there, he, he looks almost the same as he looked as far as punching power and stuff, it looks the same at 135. Then I can, then maybe you can see it. You kind of like to argue that, you know, argue that fact. But just right now, just saying that, nah, I can't, I can't say it yet, man. So, but I am very interested to see what he does at 140 to see what his power is looking like. I can't wait to see that. But Regis is sitting out the world and like, yo, he come up here. I'm going, I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to knock him out badly. So, Devin is in, in kind of like a, he's in a, almost like a tight situation because you got two dudes that were 35 that say they went to smoke. And then you got killers up at 140. And, you know, which way does he go? Does he stay and take a few, and take the take fight, take the Shakur fight, or just go up to 140 and, and uh, make something happen with Regis Progray? You know, a lot of people think that's a bad idea for him to jump right into 140 to fight a Regis. Other people say it's, you know, that's showing him to test his will of his, to test his abilities. 
If he goes and fights Regis Progre, I give David Haley all the respect of the world, bro. Definitely give him all the respect of the world. Because when you really think about it, that's making Tate look bad because Tate's supposed to be this killer, right? How come how come he didn't he did, uh, challenge Regis Progre when he fought at 140 instead of fighting the Mario Barrios, right? But Dev took about fighting Mario Barrios, you know, jumping right into the lion's den, you feel me? Uh, that's a power move for Dev. I kind of I respect that, you know. So, does he get hurt going up to 140? I don't. I don't know. We got to see. It'd be surprising though if Dev gets up there and does and the exact opposite happens to him when he gets up to 140. He starts knocking dudes out. It might even hurt Regis if they fight. Right? Wouldn't that be something? See, people is basing everything off of what they see at 135, man. That's why. Uh, it's best for these dudes to just keep quiet, man. And just wait for Dev to get up there, see how he performs in one of his fights, or if he jumps right into the Regis fight, then Regis will see. Okay, we'll get to see if Dev got this punching power that Mickey Bay talking about at this division, or if he's still light fisted like he is at 135, allegedly, right? So, interesting, interesting. So, we'll see, though. Let me know what you think about Regis Pro Grade and what he got to say. That he knocks Devin Haney clean, smoothed out if he comes up to 140. It's your boy Rebel Life Boxing. Drop a comment. Let me know how you feel. Catch y'all later.